Alright, welcome back to Shadows of Mordor. And right here it says Rat Back the Coward. Rat Bag the Coward, sorry, is my a main mission objective. So I think I might actually go after him next. So let's go ahead and mark him. So the game knows I want to go smack his brains in. Yeah, Rat Bag, you're going down. You're a nasty fool. What are those mutton chops on an orc? Okay. Or I guess you look more like a goblin, I suppose. But that's just our life now. So let's see, in the area, do we have anything else to see on the way? Looks like right over here there's an artifact, so we may as, may as well just go over and grab that on the way, with the Ratbag being our eventual target. Here we go! Blammo! So this is episode 3 of Shadows of Mordor, and that guy... Oh! Did I just get spotted by all these people from jumping down? Okay, well, we're gonna run for it. Don't mind me. I've just been I've just immediately managed to screw this up, so I'm gonna run for it for a moment. There we go. Does anyone know where I am right now? I think they've lost me, so I think I'm A-OK. -okay. Right? What was that sound? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. That's a problem. Hi, buddy. How you doing? You look like a very unpleasant creature to have around. How's that headshot working out for you? Oh god, he's alive. No! That did not work for me at all. Ow, that dodge didn't work either for some reason. Here we go. Wait, oh, Jesus Christ, that is not a reliable way of dealing with that problem. So it turns out that the dog creatures are threatening. Who would have thought it? Yeah. No, dog! I don't think I have a great strategy for... Dealing with these guys, I'm I'm already dead. That's it. Okay. Uh, do the do the dogs become nemeses now when they kill me? Unknown unit promoted to to captain. Did did he own the dog? <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> that was embarrassing. I thought I was doing okay. What are these towers of silver? They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees, and memories of a lost kingdom. So we're gonna have to be more careful about where the bad guys are when I jump down, clearly, because I immediately got aggroed, and then wandered off directly into something that was threatening. So let's see if we can be smarter about this this time. Because that was just silly how quickly I went down. Where was the bad guy? Maybe it was one of those three-part dashes? It looks like- that looks like a claw mark, so that's probably where the, uh, creature was. Uh oh there he is. Don't mind me and- oh, they're fight- alright, it's fighting that guy. Looks like the dog creatures don't take kindly to orcs, which is A-OK -okay with me. Oh god, where'd you come from? Okay, camera. You need to cooperate- oh god, camera. Cooperate with me. Second! You're being very rude, dog creature. Take some arrows to the head, please. I would very much appreciate it if you stopped living. Oh, God! <laughs> this is tense. I don't have a good strat. Okay, he's down. God damn, those guys are tough to deal with. Is there a, do I get a reward for killing it? Of any kind? No? Interesting, okay. I encountered a few of them earlier in the DLC. Why did, I, why did I say I've been playing too much of Dark Souls if I'm going to just randomly call stuff DLC? But I definitely fought a number of these earlier, and I feel like they weren't as difficult as that one was. Let's see, there's one in a cage over here. I'm curious about whether or not I can, like, can I, can I get him to join my team? I, maybe later. I don't know if I can do that right now. This guy doesn't seem super friendly. So let's make sure I mark that artifact on the map. It's right around this hill here, so I have a bit of a track to go on. We'll definitely want to go collect that for the uh, extra Mirian. There's a plus sign over here. Oh right, it's this herb right here. <laughs> Still trying to learn all the symbols because there are quite a few symbols on the map. Got Elegran. That's a... Was that, 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 I guess because there's an entry that must be a brand new herb that I've never gotten before. Don't really feel like reading about flowers though. You're welcome to check out the Wikipedia entry for that. This gotta be Shadows of Mortar wiki. So this is something on the ground here. Is that another plant that restores health? I guess so. Okay. Thought it was that was a little weird because it was just like a it was like some coconut-looking things. 
very long looking coconuts. So I guess there's an artifact right here. And no one's around to contest me, so I guess I'm just safe I'm safe to pick it up. We're gonna get some lore first thing off in this episode. Well, besides the part where I got straight up murdered. So was it? Oroduin's eruptions are sudden and violent. When the mountain awakens in fire, none are safe. The skies darken with smoke and ash, and fiery rocks are shot high into the air before landing with deadly force. This glassy obsidian stone is one of those volcanic rocks. It dates back to the Second Age, perhaps when the Dark Lord forms his initial bond with the volcano. These remnants of, o of Oroduin's fury are prized for their hardness. They, they are often sharp, uh, sharpened to make weapons. So let's look around and see if I can find the... There we go. Play the memory. Where did you get off to, child? I found this, Daddy. This kind of rock is very rare. It comes from the volcano. There. Now, Doom is a foul place. Angry and mean. It will explode when Sauron is near and plotting. Spitting all manner of foulness into the air. Smoke and dust and rocks that burn the ground. It does this as a warning. I will not stay silent for long. Sort of like your mother. Don't tell your mother, isn't it? So this rock is... It is a rock. Nothing more. And you needn't be afraid of a rock or doom, which is silent to this very day. And sweetie, if you need a lesson from all this, why, here's a fine one. Even a foul place like that volcano can produce beautiful things. Interesting. We had a Your Mama joke in the middle of Lord of the Rings lore. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back to tracking down Ratbag the Coward. If he's called the Coward, does that mean that the moment I catch him, he's gonna run away? Because that'll be a thing to deal with. Let's go back to having him as the waypoint right now. Oh yeah, the objective. Uh, the Spirit of Mordor is the quest I'm, I'm following right now. Sauron's Uruks relentlessly abused lesser orcs in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the Wraith can exploit these struggles, piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy forces from within. One orc mind in particular shines as a blazing beacon of weakness. Ooh. So we're going after Ratback the Coward because he's weak-willed. So our goal is to actually, uh, our goal here is to get the, uh, get Ratback the Coward to join us, it looks like. We're gonna try to Been no it. sign of fire on Mount Doom for generations. I watched Gilgala die on the slopes of Oladruin, burned to death by the heat of Sauron. This is where the storm will gather that will engulf the world of men. Noticing a lot of slaves around here. Maybe I should go freeing some of them for a bonus. Oh, there are definitely some orcs right over here. Let's see, will they ever turn around? Oh yeah, right, I can just tap it. Let's try to attra attract that guy. I don't think I can attract him, is he too far away? Oh, here he comes. Come here, bro. These are some very friendly bushes over here. Bye. Right, there's one down. At the very least, I'll get a little, I get a little XP from it. Oh, right. I can grab them, right? Right? No? No? Okay. I, I think it's just talking about grabbing people to... I like, grab them in general. I thought I was grabbing them for the purpose of taking their body away. You lost organs now! Let's go back in the bush before anyone else notices me. Have they still not seen me? Anyone? This is going A-OK -okay for me. I'm gonna go free me some slaves. Right, don't worry, slave. I'll save you. Oh, oh, the slaves are gonna go get eaten by dogs now. That makes them harder to save. Huh. Well. Slave, you should run away. Are you digging out the organs of your fallen brethren? What's going on over there? What the fuck? Are you burying him? That's disturbing. So there's a dog over there. Maybe he'll go away. The orcs do not do well with local wildlife, do they? Weird. Let's see if we can get up to this guy before he turns around. Play it cool. There we go. No one will miss you. I don't think you guys have a lot of love for each other. Oh, those guys are approaching the corpses I made. Let's see if I can sneak up behind one of these guys. There's one right there. I got him! Alright, we might have to fight the last two guys. Unless they fight something else. Are they gonna go kill that slave? Oh shit. 
Well, that makes it- it's harder to free slaves if they get murdered by orcs that get pissed off at stuff. Maybe- oh, let's- let's watch this. An orc's gonna fight a- yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected to happen. Jesus Christ, those things are brut- oh god. Speaking of things that are brutal... Oh hey, it's an orc! <laughs> Don't mind me, just wanted to cut off all your limbs real quick. Uh, I think all these orcs are gonna notice me in a second here. Oh, that didn't work out. There we go. Ew! Just trying to execute an, uh, an orc. I screwed that. I screwed up my entire opportunity there. Thankfully, orcs aren't very good at taking advantage. Oh god. Okay, this is getting a little overwhelming. I should not have. I probably should not have gotten myself involved here. Because now there's a lot of guys noticing me at once. If I back off for a second, maybe the dog will ruin everybody. I should climb up this wall. There we go. Now you can see everything from above. Maybe try to take out this dog while he's distracted. For extra kill credit. Oh, I'm out of elf shot. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Oh god, oh god. Can I hit one of these guys while I'm up here? Oh, can I t oh god, they're just throwing things at me now. Okay, fine. I want to be a dick about it. Enjoy not having organs. How about that? That's right. How you doing? How you doing there with your freaking silly little club? Execute that guy? There we go. Well, that worked out just fine. I like this neutral party system we have where there's just dogs wandering around ready to pounce on really whoever. See, so hold circle to drain. Hold circle near an enemy to, to, to get elf shot back. Uh, is it one of these enemies? Because it's not letting me do it. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's just a general tutorial that's not actually contextual. Because in the context of this, I just assumed they were talking about one of the guys nearby. But I guess not. A sneak, because we have a a new friend down here. Can I, can I reach him from here as a stealth attack? It's not giving me a prompt. Oh, there we go. Stealth kill. Hey, bro. Hope you don't like your spine where it was, because it's gone. I'm sure you're fine with that. After all, you don't need it anymore, being, you know, not among the living. So we're making slow and steady progress towards the goal. Taking out a lot of enemies for some bonus experience along the way. I think that's worth it. It's always good to get a little bit of experience. Especially when there's a- oh, don't have any elf shot. Oh, let's just not get attracted right now. Let's just let those guys pass, because I don't have any elf shot to shoot them with. Is that elf shot across the way, though? That is elf shot across the way. Let's go find some. That's not elf shot. That is a plant. Maybe it, maybe it restores my elf shot? Does not appear to be the case. Oh, well. Let's see. Check the map real quick to see if anything cool is nearby. There's a tower down there. It's a little out of my way, but I think I'll, I think I'll grab the tower just so I can get a proper... Uh... A proper update on the map in this area. So after all, you only have to grab each tower once, but it's a permanent... It's a permanent uh, improvement to how well you see the area. Definitely hearing some noises, so someone's in trouble, but it doesn't seem to be me. Oh look, they're fighting wildlife again. That's so adorable. Orcs think that they can defend themselves. Oh, I thought I was dropping off. No, drop off all the way. There we go. Got stuck for a second. Let's get to this tower before someone notices me and causes me some problems. Got another weird object over here. I guess I'll just keep gathering them because they reward me. Why not? Rewards are nice. They make me feel like I accomplish things. Almost like I'm a good person that does things that are good. Like, like I have skills and things that people want. I am a desirable person, as shown by this game getting making a number go up in very small intervals. <laughs> so that's another tower filled in. My ancestral doom I must push away with light. So we have a few things around here. We have... Is it Elithin? So we got a few things that will reward me. And we have a we have Swift Mercy, which is a way of making my bow mo more powerful. That's something that interests me more than anything else in the area. And we have an artifact over here. I'm going to go for this bow challenge. I definitely want to do... I think I want to do one side quest or upgrade mission between every uh, story mission I do. That just seems like a good balance. Probably decent episode structure too. Get a nice little pace going on where in every episode I do one side thing and one main thing and we'll, this will probably be roughly 20 episodes long. I say that based on no actual uh, 
Let's see, where's the object around here? I've got an enter elf mode to find it. it. Must be upstairs. I'm not looking for the, uh... I see, I see the side quest. I just see there, there's also something... Uh, there's something in this tower and I want to grab it just because it's here. But I figure it's a decent structure for a series would be one side quest and one main mission every episode. And then we'll see how that goes. Watch the game prove me wrong by having a single mission that's like three hours long. Oh, there's the symbol. That's very easy to find. Blam! 40, 50 Mirian. I don't know why I said 40. Now we're getting, are we getting, we're getting pieces of a mural it looks like. Can I look at it? Looks like I can, I can just sort of look at the wall and that's it. Okay, so that's another collectible, I suppose. So we have 42 artifacts, 32 of that, the mural. Lots of nature, these are all just codex entries, I guess, where you just discover stuff about things. All right, so that's a bunch of stuff to figure out. There we go. Biggest reason to go for it's definitely the reward. Speaking of which, I should probably actually buy an upgrade. We have no more points there, but we have a whole sorts of uh, upgrades. Oh yeah, still don't have anything to buy though. We need three, we need over 300 to upgrade any of our stats again. And there's no reason to buy an, a rune upgrade until I actually get enough runes to fill the slots. Star Moon, Otherwise, forged of Mithril. They hold memories of the ancient past. The knowledge within may be fair or ill. Soon enough, the Dark Lord will be here. I'm digging the fact that uh, you can just jump from any height because your character just sort of switches to ghost mode whenever there's an, a significant fall. So now that I know that that's not a problem, I can just go ahead and casually jump off whatever I want. Alright, let's do Swift Mercy. Having, having cursed his enemies, his arrows offered a swift end to their suffering. Forge the legend of the bow Azkar. Reward 250 million. So I guess we're going to have some sort of bow kill challenge. This last, the last challenge was a... Uh, these orcs are in a weakened state. Try using quick shots to kill them. Okay. Kill four without leaving obje the objective mode. Okay. There we go. That's that objective done, I guess. So that's a lot of uh, a lot of orcs are after me. Oh, cool. You can collect more health shot. Don't mind me, I'm just casually shooting all your fools. I just shot the guy in the foot, that didn't even make sense. These guys are very weak in state, apparently. How many do I have to kill? Oh, four more. Four more. Four more. I'm about to fail. I'm about to fail. I'm about to fail. I'm about to fail. Get There we go. Okay, that could have gone better, but at least I accomplished it, so that's cool. And I got the side quest done, too. So I got 400 experience, 250 Mirian. And they're all alive, aren't they? Are they gonna scatter? Tutorial, weapon upgrades, complete bow symbol, and other side missions are in Mirian. Enough, you'd be able to purchase devastating ability for your bow. Okay, that's... Okay, the Flame of Azkar will allow a burst of, of unlimited elf shot, focus, and fire arrow. Okay, so that's not really new information. Well, the, uh, some of the specific things about upgrades were kind of new, but for the most part it was just like, Hey, you know that you get upgrades and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I, I did that already. I already learned that part. So we unlocked a new upgrade slot. Strike from above is already unlocked. Detonate's already unlocked. So, let's see. I can go for Elven Swiftness now, or I can go for Riding Karagors. Wow. Being able to jump on a, on a uh, Karagor and use that as basic... Uh, being able to use a Karagor in combat would actually probably be very handy. So let's go ahead and grab that. It looks like I need 131 power in order to unlock the next tier of upgrades here. So I should definitely seek sources of power. I'm definitely gonna go for some more hit points. To, I got enough mirroring for it now Because I've definitely been going down faster than I want to all right now that something now that we have a, an upgrade out of the way Let's actually go for our next little uh Spirit of Mortar mission, and it'll give me 40 power, which is good progress towards what I'm trying to do Now what's going on down here? We have a lot of orcs running around. Are they gonna leave? They seem to be pretty much oh those guys are gonna notice me. Let's just drop down the side. Ooh, don't jump that far. Okay. So we're gonna make our way carefully towards our next mission. Keeping an eye on where all the red symbols are so I don't run directly into one of them and get noticed. Looks like they're looking the other way, so I'm gonna quickly try to get out of this building. Because once I'm. Okay, someone's starting to notice me. Oh, hey guys. You guys are pretty blind, aren't you? 
I'm a little impressed. Oh man, they're starting to scatter. I need to get out of here. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. That's taken care of. They were going to fan out, and it was going to... I realized I had to just go for it, because they were about to fan out, and that was going to make it a whole lot harder for me to actually escape them. This guy's on his own, so I'll kill him for free experience, because... Oh, God! Okay, I'm going to hide in this... I'm going to hide in here. Because some... Some... Some, uh... Oh, God, there's even more there. Some... A slave just ran away, and now they're all pursuing it, so that... That free kill just turned it into what, one hell of a dangerous situation. But since there, since that guy was nice enough to form a distraction with his life, let's just sort of carefully creep around the ruins. Oh, there's still some more guys in there. Maybe they won't notice me. Now, what does that symbol mean? Let's learn something here. There's a symbol here, and that symbol represents... Is there a legend for it? Oh, it says intel in the top right corner. Okay. So this guy can give me intel if I can capture him, I suppose. Oh. And there's also a metric fuck ton of other orcs in the area. I think I'm gonna pass on that intel for now. They were good warriors. That'll be a nice opportunity to pursue later, but right now, I missed my chance to go after him while they were distracted by the runaway elf. I mean, runaway, uh, runaway slave. So let's just try to get into the stronghold. Okay, so this is where the new guys have focused. So if I'm spotted in here, it says they're going to raise an alarm, so I have to be very stealthy and careful. Huh. I think the coward I'm going after might be a prisoner. Huh, I'm in I'm, so am I going to get a prisoner to join my team? That's interesting. Alright, let's go for it. The Spirit of Mordor. Okay, this is, I already read about this, about the uh, abused orcs. Let's, let's see how this goes. Ranger. Come close if you want the black hand. Those slave scum are pouring poison in your ear. Oh, but you cut these ropes. The right bag will tell you everything. Hmm. Now, what would you know that all these other dead orcs didn't? Go ahead, you bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request. End your miserable life. No, 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 no! I was just a... Look! Those slaves are no match for the orc army. Their schemes as rotten as barrel fish! But Ratbag can teach you the ways of the orc. Ratbag can make your plan work! Hmm. We're going to find out what you know. Ooh. Looks like we can gain intel on someone from Ratbag. Okay, let's see what Mr. Goroth knows. I guess he must be Ratbag's superior. New intel on Goroth Karagor Tamer. Oh, he's a tamer of Karagors. That's disturbing. So this will be the intel mechanic we were looking at earlier, where apparently you can interrogate someone and find out about the guy that's next up in line. Hopefully next time I see someone that's interrogatable, they won't be surrounded by 12 other people. So he's a veteran captain, power six, looking for a beast to, to prove his mastery over. But he's, oh, he's located on the main mission, so I'm definitely gonna be taking him out next, apparently. He's probably in this mission. So he captains and Captains and worms will reveal all intel on a target when interrogated. Okay, so let's hit right trigger to reveal his strengths and weaknesses. He's vulnerable to mounted beasts, can be killed instantly by mounted beast finishers. And he becomes terrified at the sight of Karagors. Are you... Are you serious? His fear of Karagors will, will terrify him into running, stumbling, into a running, stumbling coward. If you expose him to a Karagor, he will lose some of his strength and become an easier target. Okay, Mr. Karagor Tamer has an ironic fear of Karagors. That's a surprise. Apparently you can't kill him with a ranged attack. He is really powerful at melee to the point where he can't be countered, so that's, that means I have to dodge his, his attacks. And he has a group of followers. Okay, so he's got a posse. He's good at melee. He can't be shot. So definitely have to go after him with a Karagor if I want this to work out. Beware, Goroth has strengths as well. He's, he's immune to range attack. So okay, that's all the stuff I just said. 
Remember, many weaknesses can only be exploited if you gain intel first. Press, arcs to, press X to mark uh, Goroth as your target. Well, yeah, I'll make him my target. Let's go wipe him out. Problem, Ranger, is the war chiefs. Strong leaders they are. You know, if something were to happen to them, then they wouldn't be able to stop your little insurrection, would they? I would hunt them down. <laughs> How? They're not very popular around here, and they know it. But you can find them. Oh, yes! Ratbag will show you the way. You help me, I help you. Do not make me regret this deal. Marvelous! Now let's stop faffing about it. Huh? First, we need to take care of a certain captain and a few caragors. Come with me, Ranger! Can't trust them. Those slaves are stabby in the back. At least an Uruk will stab you in the front. Most likely to throw. We have similar goals, Ranger. See, you want to kill the captain, and somebody's got to take his place. Somebody like Ratbag. So this Goroth is in charge? Right. Of this camp, yeah. Well, he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. I'll show them all when I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. How did you get free, scum? Well, it looks like they noticed us pretty early. That did not go well. Alright, new enemy, defenders. Defenders with block frontal attacks must be hit from behind. Hit X to leap over them. I have a better solution. I'll shoot him in the face. There we go. Now he can't defend me with shit. That guy's down too. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hi, friend. How you doing? People coming up behind me. Just gonna juggle around a bit. There we go. Just go ahead and execute a fool. Oh, you thought you could deflect my attack. Nope. Very, very uh, optimistic of you, I suppose. Get away from Ratbag. I need him. I'm gonna use him to take over the world. Or Mordor. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Gorov. Visualize your goals. Gorov's been out for Ratbag for years. Smug piece of dunger he is. We come to blows as far back as Ratbag can remember. Still, Ratbag never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratbag into the Kattegor pit. All the others laugh as a Karagor bats right back around like a yarn ball. Oh, that Gorov's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. Gorov keeps Karagors in pens. And rumor has it, he doesn't like to get too close to them. And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh. That explains the smell. Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Splendid plan. You kill, I wait. That's military genius, that is. Captain Gorov's right up ahead. I'm salivating with anticipation. The drool of revenge. Yes, I'm sure you love the plan where I do all the killing and you hang out and do nothing. who's laughing, huh? We have to very carefully enter this place without getting detected. First things first, this guy stopped living. So you get for going around corners. That was very silly of you. Anyone else gonna come by? Don't see anyone coming by. Okay. So we're doing a okay so far. Can I go up against this wall? I can. Not enough grog for us, so why Got one guy with the torch right there. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. I suppose, because I don't want... I mean, right now he's just facing me, basically. Is he going to keep coming? Okay, he might keep coming. He might keep coming. Let's get into that bush. Okay. There we go. 
Now he turned around. He walked a lot further than I was expecting him to. Anyone facing this way? No one's facing this way right now. It's getting a bush. He doesn't see me. He's not cautious. Okay, we're A-OK. -okay. But he's going to notice that body, isn't he? Did you hear that? Oh. He's going to notice that body. That's what you get for noticing bodies, bro. You really shouldn't have been so inquisitive. Oh, that was a... Oh. Okay. This is not ideal. They're starting to... Oh, Jesus. This guy walked right in front of me. Well, I guess he just failed this objective. Don't mind me. I just ruined everything. Enemies raising the alarm. Which one? That guy is. I got him. No! Uh, I just failed. That was me failing the mission. Well, <laughs> way to go me. Killing an enemy, running to raise the alarm before... Yeah, kill an enemy before he reaches it. Yeah, I figured as much. Let's retry this mission. Hopefully it gives me a nice checkpoint, right? Right, game? Okay, that was my bad. I didn't notice that there was a guy right behind me. I definitely just gotta move. Okay, good, good checkpoint. It's right here. So let's just be nice and careful and just go forward as fast as possible. Because playing around with these, uh, silly orcs definitely gets you in trouble. Let's see if I can get in without actually killing anybody, since it seems difficult to not raise the alarm with so many around in the area. They're definitely going to notice a few bodies. Is he going to turn around? I lost sight of him when he went around the corner. I'll just take a look. I'll, I'll, I should have time to run away if he comes up. Oh, that guy, that guy has intel. What are my chances of getting him? Oh, here he comes. Uh. Is he going to come this way? Yay! Come here! Come here, Mr. Intel! I could use some intel. Okay, here he comes. Here he comes. And you go down. Okay, that's not how you get intel. I did that wrong. I made a mistake. Let's get out of here before his body gets noticed. For some reason, I thought that was going to be how I got intel, but instead it's how you kill a guy that has intel. Which is basically the opposite of getting intel. Let's see, so going up there is where the bad guy is. Question is, what's the, what's the best way to get in there without getting noticed? Let's see, is anyone facing this way right now? Oh, they're finding the body. Let's just start climbing. Maybe, some, maybe hopefully no one will be smart enough to look up. This is based on a movie franchise, right? I mean, technically based on a book, but I mean, people in movies are always too stupid to look up, right? It's like the number one stealth tactic, attach yourself to the ceiling. There we go. Is that Goroth? I don't think that's supposed to tell me who Goroth is, really. Oh, nope. I don't think that the, uh... Let's see. Oh, nope. The, uh... I would say that the uh, the icon's definitely pointing at the uh, guy with the bow. Oh, God. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's try to jump down. There we go. Don't mind me. Is my goal to kill him or to... Let's find out. Just gonna very carefully approach him. Hey, brother. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to deal with a few fewer organs. Was that my goal? Was that Goroth? This looks like a good spot to get some shut eye. Goroth will kill you if he catches you napping. Goroth never comes here. He's always by the hunting camp. Goroth's in the hunting camp. So much for him always being in the same place. A captain who fears his own beast. Fear is a powerful tool, Talion. Let's put Goroths to work. Okay, so it looks like this was a little bit of a wasted effort because we came all the way in here and the guy's not even in here. Alrighty then, let's do a little ghost jump. I guess ghost jump wasn't necessary, but I jumped anyway. Let's see if we can get to... Okay, he's way over here. It's just... I'll just run for a little bit since he's so far away. All right, so we're back to try. So we're now we're in a new camp. Once again, try not to raise the alarms. There's a bunch of orcs right there. They have. They are not very observant. They don't seem very concerned about the giant beast trying to claw them out. That's only a few feet away. Okay, that guy's coming this way a little more than I want him to. There's a lot of guys over there. Okay, and of course he's walking straight towards me. Yep, he's turning around. 
Let's find a path around into the camp. It's amazing. They don't make me See if I can go around chase. this way. Because I'm not You're comfortable with the number of enemies in one condensed area, but I think I can just go around. If I am careful, maybe. Let's be very, very quiet. I'm hunting orcs. That was... I don't know why I didn't even try to do the, uh, the Looney Tunes voice at all. I went to a weird Slavic place. Let's run for a second to cover before someone gets me. Okay. We're doing A-OK, -okay, but where is Gorgon? I mean, Goroth, sorry. Gorgons are from Destiny and, and other things, of course. Gotta wait for this archer to turn around. Come on. Come on, look somewhere else. Look somewhere else. Come on. Squirrel. Hey, bro. Don't mind me. Just taking out your... Everything that makes you alive. Taken care of? Oh, hey. This is a checkpoint. I just realized this is an actual checkpoint. I might as well claim this while I'm here. Because then I can fast travel here. Here we go. Let's reforge this place. Blammo. Oh yeah. Unlocking more map than ever before. But now we gotta go find Goroth. Now where is he in here? He wants me to look at that piece of camp. The mission seemed to be all about walking to waypoints, but not, maybe not, not, not always a ton of explanation for why you go to that waypoint. Which one of this filth is Goroth? I once wrestled three categories at once. Hello, Goroth. You around, boy? Ooh. Ooh. This sounds like fun. Where's the, where's the lock, though? Is it that one? Did I do it? Oh yes, we're having fun now. <laughs> oh well, we found Gor. That's clearly Goroth. And his fear of his, his terrible, terrible fear of other creatures. Let's see, how do I... How do I attack Goroth, though? What's my way of going about this? Can I stealth kill him? He's running for it, for sure. Let's see. I wonder if there's a way of going after him without attracting too much attention. Where'd the... I was, I was hoping I could jump on the mount that was running around, but I don't see him anywhere. Let's just be careful here. If I can avoid attracting attention, I can fight him one-on-one. -on -one. That's a lot of yellows. Maybe none of them will notice me yet. Do they notice me? I think I'm doing okay. Let's just go for it before he gets some friends. Oh, you, you silly, silly man. Your fear. Okay, that was probably not as well orchestrated as it could have been. Maybe I can just pummel him into submission? Yes! Goroth is down! Oh, nope, that didn't work. Careful. I have to watch out for a heavy attack. I successfully got him away from all of his followers, but which puts him in a bad spot. You definitely have to execute him over and over again, it looks like, if you do get him down. A-OK -okay for me. Just gives me more chance to go for the juggler. He's definitely dead. After power struggles, battle reports will recap the events and shifting power in Sauron's army. Press right to recap, to view the recap. So what did we, what have we done by doing this? So it's counting this as a rat bag taking out Goros, so and now rat bag is more powerful. He's a captain. But does someone replace Goros? Hey, you two. Hey, hey. I need you to take a body back to my tent. I'm gonna get me a trophy. <laughs> get lost, scum. We only take orders for Goros. That's the filthy corpse I need you to carry! Now go! Go! Say your fish! <laughs> be respectful, you dunghill worms! Or it'll be your ear next time! Ratbag is your captain now! Let's go take a gander. Yeah, and when you're done with that, I've got more bodies for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. 
An old friend there is about to lose his head. <laughs> Mission X successful. 700 experience. Man, Ratbag is a shit little shithead, isn't he? First I'm resurrected by a wraith. Now I am working with an orc. What could possibly be next? We must use the weapons of our enemy against him. The orcs hate each other almost as much as they hate us. Alright, taking all bids. How many episodes before Ratbag turns on me because he's an orc? Obviously. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a very Assassin's Creed moment perched up here. <laughs> Alrighty then.